Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make your computer look and act like Windows XP. First of all you're going to have to download Windows Blind. It, you can have it on Windows 7 and Windows 8. Click the Get Now button then click Try It For Free. It should start downloading automatically. Once you've installed the program, it should look a bit like this. Now you might see a Mac theme in it, it's just that I have been downloading other themes and you probably won't have that one anyway. When you're in Windows Window Blinds, scroll all the way down and click Download More Skins from Win Customize. Once clicked, it should launch up your browser. When the page is loaded, go over to the search button and search Windows XP. You should get a page looking like this. I, w I would recommend going on the one bottom left because the bottom right is a bit messed up. Once you're on this page, Go over to the download button and as you can see it's 2 stars rated but who cares, it does the job. It shouldn't redirect you and should automatically start downloading the file. Before running it, make sure your Windows blinds is closed and make sure it's not open in the taskbar. Now you can run the file. It should then pop up saying a new skin has been installed. Click that pop up message. It should make your computer look like this or it should automatically look like Windows XP but for me it didn't. It didn't. So launch up window blinds. Scroll down and select it from there. Your computer now looks like Windows XP, but the taskbar is all messed up at the bottom. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. Now I'm going to show you how you fix the taskbar and make the menus on the start menu. Right click your taskbar and click properties, then the thing should pop up and then tick use small icons, then click apply. It has now fixed the taskbar. To do the menus, click on start menu tab, then click customize, and then on every single option, click display as menu. There will be two hiding at the very bottom, so don't miss them out because, oh no, just one, because, yeah. And then click OK. So as you can see, everything is like a menu now, if you didn't understand what I meant, and just like Windows XP did. I, find, I can find it very annoying, but you might like it. Now go to the link in the description because you're going to need to download Icon Packager. This will make all the icons look like Windows XP. Click download, then click download again, then enter your email. As you can see I'm just doing a sample, then click download. When you click the download button you'll get an email looking a bit like this. Click the download button on the email and it should send you to this page. Click download now. It should automatically start downloading the installer. This bit of the video got corrupted, but when you launch Icon Packager, there should be a scroll bar on the bottom. Scroll all the way to the right, then click get more packages or whatever. I can't remember what it said. It should launch your browser once again and on the search bar on the right search Windows XP. Find the package you want, click on it and then click download. 
Once you've done that, you will need to download WinRAR. The link will be in the description. Launch up the file and there should be a folder in there called Windows XP Icon Package or something like that. Then you need to go to Start, Documents, and there should be a folder called Stardoc. Go in that folder and then there should be a folder called Icon Packager. Once you're in there, you then want to go to then you want to, sorry, put the Windows XP, I believe, system folder in there. Then relaunch Icon Packager. When you've relaunched Icon Packager, when you scroll to the right, you should see Windows XP system. Click it and then click apply icon package well your icon should disappear and reappear the thing is the folders are a bit glitched as in if you've got anything in them they won't look like the windows xp folders but if they're empty folders then you will see them yeah finally Go to Start Computer Properties, then go Advanced System Settings, then click Settings on the top button, and then uncheck Windows Composition. I can't remember Desktop Composition. Then click Apply. As you can see, when you close and open windows, they do they are not animated zoom in and zoom out. So, this is the end of my little tutorial. Sorry about the corrupted bit as well, and I had to do this in a limited amount of time, so that's why it's a bit rough. Um so yeah, if this worked, like, subscribe, tell your friends about it, and yeah, so this is how you make your computer look and act like Windows XP. If you want more of these tutorials, like how to make your computer look at an app like a Mac, please leave a like down below because I can do that easily as well. I'll see you guys next time, and certainly this wasn't a mob review. Bye. Something I forgot to add in the video is how to do the mouse pointer. Now all you have to do is right click on your desktop, click personalize, then go to change mouse pointer settings, it, it should be on this, it should say none at the top there, that's a glitch. It should be on this, but to get it on the um, basic Windows XP one, click none. You have to download absolutely nothing, it's already on your system. And then click apply, and then you've got the nice Windows XP mouse pointer. So yeah, bye.